How do you know when a relationship with a narcissist is over? First and foremost, only you determine when the relationship is over. And I mean over, over, forever, permanently, never going back type of situations. You've moved on, you've healed, and it's not even a thought in your head. It's not even an option or a want to even go back to that situation with the narcissist ever again. But ultimately, it is up to you. And I know that that sounds strange because the narcissist discarded you in you know, such a brutal way or whatever way they did it. It's not to discard someone like they're trash is never a good thing. And Lord knows how many new supplies you've seen that narcissist go through that they've used to devalue you with and triangulate you with and just all kinds of drama and chaos that the narcissist intentionally manufactures. And I know you think, if the narcissist spent all this time devaluing me, telling me that I'm not good enough, and discarded me and traumatized the hell out of me, how is it up to me when the relationship is over? And a narcissist discard is nothing more than an extended period of the silent treatment. The final discard is always going to be up to you. It's when you decide that you're done. A narcissist has to discard you it's part of their cycle. And when they discard you like that, it is meant to leave you in a state of trauma, in a state of shock. That way you're easier to control and manipulate. And this is how the narcissist is able to continue to devalue you, to get narcissistic supply. A narcissist discards you to leave you in that state of trauma and shock. That way they're able to return to you whenever they want. If you are traumatized and trauma bonded to this narcissist, the narcissist knows they can come and go in and out of your life whenever they please. And as long as you remain unaware, as long as you don't have the knowledge, as long as you're unhealed, you will keep allowing that narcissist to keep coming back in and out of your life. And a lot of the times narcissists, people say, why didn't I get hoovered? Well, what the narcissist is doing is they're waiting you out. This is called a reverse hoover. And what they do is they get you to reach out to them. And because the narcissist has discarded you in such a brutal way and you are trauma bonded, you will remain in that cycle of devaluation with them. And until you get the knowledge and become aware, you'll keep repeating this cycle and this pattern with them because all the narcissist did was pull you into their shared fantasy, pulled you in to their narrative. And now they're puppeting you around using the fact that they've made you an addict of their abuse. And it's all part of a cycle and the narcissist has to do it. Narcissists are masters at illusion. And so they need you to believe that you're worthless. They need you to believe that you're not good enough for them. They need you to believe they have found someone better than you. They need you to believe all of these things because if you don't feel like you're good enough, if you feel like you're the problem and you feel like, oh my gosh, that narcissist is treating A, B, and C so much better than me, I must be the problem. That's exactly what the narcissist wants you to do. They need you to do that because you're internalizing it, which keeps you in devaluation keeps you in that cycle with them in their shared fantasy, even if they're not in your life. But as long as you're still internalizing things because you don't have the knowledge and you haven't healed, the narcissist knows that they can return to you anytime they want to extract supply. But you know, your relationship with the narcissist was over the first time they discarded you. That relationship was over the first time they cheated on you. That relationship was over the first time you found out they had another source of supply on the side or they were living an entire double life on the side behind your back. Here you thought you were in a committed relationship and you find out the narcissist is living a whole nother life with someone else. But your relationship with the narcissist was over when they began devaluing you. Actually, your relationship with the narcissist was over the moment that narcissist started love bombing you because it's a pathological cycle. And so the narcissist has to devalue you and eventually discard you in order to complete this cycle. So what you thought was a relationship was really just a situation, an experience that the narcissist was manufacturing around you to get narcissistic supply. And the reason why it felt like that relationship wasn't over, even after you were discarded, isn't just because the narcissist may have hoovered or maybe you guys got in and out of the relationship multiple times, went back and forth. 
the reason why it felt like it wasn't over was because of your trauma bond, was because of your addiction to the narcissist cycle of abuse. And the narcissist was targeting all your vulnerabilities, all your insecurities. And then the narcissist created a whole bunch of extra ones in you, which really were just their projections that you began internalizing that you took on as your own. But that relationship was over when the narcissist started doing all those bad things to you and had no empathy, had no remorse for what they did and still doesn't. And when you finally realize after watching the narcissist go from supply to supply to another supply and just rotating people in and out, you understand and it hurts. It does hurt and it hurts because you're trauma bonded and you think it's love but it's abuse. That whole cycle that the narcissist is putting you through and the trauma bond, it's abuse. And we confuse that for love because it's an addiction. And you don't know the difference because the narcissist has pulled you into this distorted version of reality with all the gaslighting, with all the lies. And there will come a time when you're no longer trauma bonded and you understand what's happening and you make the decision whether that narcissist has moved on to like i said lord knows how many other people how many other sources of supply you get to a point when you go okay it isn't this next supply it isn't the new supply when you've decided you've had enough that relationship was over when the narcissist ruined it the first time around you were just trauma bonded so you kept holding on to hope because all you were doing was craving an addiction. You were chasing an addiction to dopamine. And you just happened to associate that narcissist with giving you that hit of dopamine. And the narcissist being the one to be able to relieve your pain. But the narcissist is the one causing you the pain, creating the pain in you. And this is the trauma bond. This is the cycle that keeps you believing even after the discard that maybe the narcissist is treating someone better. Maybe the narcissist has changed. Maybe it was all you, but it wasn't you. There was nothing you could have done. The relationship was over when that narcissist thought it was okay to devalue you and cheat on you and lie to you. But you just don't realize that until you're detoxed from the trauma bond. For those of you that have been following my journey, the narcissist that I dated, I was on a mission to save this man's life. I decided I was going to become a doctor. I was going to learn all about narcissism, NPD, everything that had to do with it. And I did. And I'm going to be a doctor soon. And I've written a book, but I was on a mission to save this man's life. All I wanted to do was for to figure out a miracle cure or to, to pray to God to just heal this man. But interestingly enough, the narcissist thinks you're the sick one. The narcissist thinks you're the crazy one. Now, honestly, you know, we're all on a spectrum somewhere because we've all been traumatized. We've all been through things. And it's unfortunate that the narcissist exploits those things and makes it even worse. But that's how they keep you trauma bonded to them so that you never leave them. So along this journey, every time the narcissist got in and out of another relationship, he came back and I allowed him to come back. But it was because I was still trauma bonded. And this cycle repeated itself. I don't know how many times. And it wasn't until this last round with him in, in December last year that it really took a toll on me because I was out here doing everything I could to learn about this disorder so that I could find a way to communicate with him because I understood that my way of thinking, my version of reality, his way of thinking, his version of reality, there was not going to be any communication there. So I was on a mission, on this journey to figure out how I could communicate with this man in his version of reality, to figure out how to communicate with the narcissist, all because I loved him that much, or so I thought. But that's how dangerous the trauma bond is. And as as time passed, you know, and I began healing and doing my work and I finally detoxed from the trauma bond. I remember it was, oh, it was several months back when I found out he was in yet another relationship. And I thought, oh my gosh, again, he's doing it again. And at that moment, I told myself, I was like, this, this is it. I can't do this anymore because the last time I saw him, you know, he put me through another round of abuse. And when I found out he was in yet another relationship, that was when I went back to the universe. I went back to God. I was back at the drawing board and I thought it's time to let go. 
I'm not trauma bonded anymore. It's time to let go. And I understood that the reason why all of the things that I was desiring were being put on hold is because I was putting all my energy into trying to save that man. Ultimately, I saved my own life. I learned so much about myself, my own traumas, all the things that I went through, my bad behaviors, my mistakes. So remember, a narcissist discard is nothing more than an extended period of the silent treatment. The final discard is always going to be up to you. It's when you decide that you're done. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for listening. Stay safe, stay strong, and keep getting the knowledge. You are all going to be amazing.